Many thanks for staying with us here on Newsdays. Let's return to that story uh, of clerks and members who have chosen to stay away from their offices over government's failure to pay their market uh, premium. The interim market premiums, let me put it that way. So uh, let's return to the phone lines and speak to the Northern Regional Secretary of Clerks, Aki Ibrahim Mami, uh, who has uh, joined us once more on the phone. Um, Samami, thank you again for joining us. Uh, you were making a point when the line was uh, cut abruptly. Maybe you could finish off from where you, you ended. Okay. So the lines have uh, dropped once more. Uh, it's rather unfortunate, but the lines have dropped again. I will try and raise him again, and then we'll continue the conversation. But I don't know, I don't know whether we do have... Uh, if we do have the Fair Regions and Salaries Commission, maybe we could continue that conversation, but it appears we do not have them as well. So, we'll do some other stories. And Upper West Regional Minister Amin Abedou Suleiman is warning all enumerators and supervisors on the Ghana National Household Registration Exercise to remain professional as they collate accurate and reliable data devoid of political considerations. According to the Minister, the registration of households for the exercise is one that needs to be conducted in a non partisan manner. Mr. Amin Amidou Suleimana made the comments during a training program organized for personnel of the Information Services Department, media practitioners, opinion leaders, and supervisors in WA. Here's a report by correspondent Rafik Salam. According to the operations and logistics specialist at the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection, Bete Zebile, the Ghana National Household Registry offers multiple advantages, such as identifying the poor and vulnerable, facilitate quick identification of programs, reduce the duplication in coverage of various programs, and increase knowledge on issues around poverty and vulnerability, among others. It will also serve as a tool to help identify priorities and select households to ensure that the resources allocated to the different social programs effectively reach the people who are really in need. She announced that a total of 109,222 households are expected to be enumerated in the Upper West Region. We will do a census approach of registration where we will deploy 300 enumerators who will go into the communities, into the households, and then collect the indicators of the household, the characteristics, what the roof is made of, what the material is used to construct the walls, whether they have toilet facility in the house, and all of those indicators and take personal information on the household members aggregate this to form household information which then will be sent into the database in Accra and then we will use the proximity test formula which is a scientific formula which will score each of the indicators and then aggregate it and give a score to the household to determine whether it is poor or not. Upper West Regional Minister I mean, I mean, Suleimani warned enumerators and supervisors participating in the exercise to conduct themselves professionally and collect accurate and reliable data devoid of political considerations. This is a program or a project that has no political connotations. It's devoid of any political issues. So please, don't go to the field. As you said rightly, I say, oh, you people, because you are NDC, that's why we are registering you. You people, because you are this, that's why we are not coming for data from you. You are MPP, you are PNC, you are CP. This has nothing to do with party politics. It's purely a program, a project targeted to have very credible data on our households. And please, let's be very professional and whatever we do. Don't go and leave some people and say yes. You people know you are not with us. That's why we are leaving you. Nobody is with anybody. This is everybody is with everyone here. Reporting for J News, Rafik Salam. Wow. We are going to start the data collection. Expected armed robbers believed to believed to have been wounded in a shootout earlier Tuesday. They are among five gangsters who engaged in who engaged the police in a dawn gun battle, resulting in the death of the of the three at Snake Flats at Suria Boy in Kumasi. Deputy Regional Police Commander ACP Ampo Fuduko identified one of the deceased as Bernard Ali. According to him, deadly weapons including pump action guns and locally manufactured pistols were found on them. He appealed to residents and health health facilities to be on the lookout and report suspicious characters to them.
Thank you. Yes. Last week, 21st of July, 2016, uh, we had information that armed robbery group led by one Bernard Ali went to Owase between my nine and Jacobu to a bridge where a Chinese, a sick Chinese, was being uh, taken in a taxi to the hospital was ambushed. They shot and killed the taxi driver and they robbed them of a few amount of se uh, about 70 cities that uh, was in the custody of the Chinese and took the ID of the taxi driver. Information got to us and through our intelligence we had the information that one Bernard Ali and his group were responsible uh, for that act. We started pursuing them until last night when we had uh, a confirmed intelligence that the group was shadowed to a pit behind the street of our flats. I was there. And so police raid and which lo and behold they came out in the taxi, we stopped them, but they ignored our warning and they uh, started shooting. Police pursued them for a while and along the line and along the line the uh, taxi slowed down for many of them to get down to end.